Okay guys, good morning. I want to share with you some tips that you can use and some steps that you need to take in order to get started with your new Logic tablet. Firstly, your tablet is accompanied with a keyboard and the keyboard is wireless. Therefore, you need to connect your keyboard via Bluetooth. For this, you will simply need to go to settings um, and hit on connect devices here my Bluetooth keyboard has already been connected but for you all who have not connected as yet you need to hit peer and new device and upon hitting peer and new device you need to hit the connect button on the top right corner of your keyboard when you hit that button the blue light will flash and your keyboard should appear on your tablet simply hit connect and you have connected anyways after that there are two main apps that we want you all to connect with that is used for your classes the first one is your email the email um, account and the second is your Google Classroom so firstly let us get started with setting up your email you must go to the Google app and the Gmail application because it is the first time you will be prompted with different messages however you want to add an email address because your tablet doesn't have your email address as yet and you will be adding a Google address so you hit the first one and if you can recall Kenan High School gave you all email address that ends with chs.edu.bz so at this time I'll be using a student's email for example but you all should have your own personal email at chs.edu.bz your name at chs.edu okay so he has to enter his password um, some of you change your password some of your teachers sent you the password and you simply enter that password he has been connected you just have to agree to the terms that Google require and your account is being set up At this um, stage you are asked if you want to back up your information to the Google Drive or if you if not then you hit that off for this um, tutorial I'll, I'll have it off because it's not my account and you hit accept okay and then you you're back to this screen you hit on the you see it take me to Gmail and Ronald has connected is a conk. There's one issue that um, most of you will face because of the fact that this is a student's account um, and there are certain things that that is private you will be prompted with entering a password on your device because of the little hazard at the top you click that it says verify it's you you click next and you sign in again with your password it's, it already have your email you just enter your password okay it says to access your work account on this device you need to set a lock screen and that is um, very important because if you don't set the lock screen you won't see any emails coming in so you hit next and you're prompted with the options none swipe pattern pin or password you have to choose between pattern pin or password for this example I will choose a pin that's a number four four digits and you're asked to re-enter and you hit confirm now it, it asks you if you want to see notifications on your lock screen. 
whichever you decide. And now the email account has been registered. And if you notice at the top, the little hazard screen has left because his device now has a password on it um, to keep it private. So after you have entered into your email address, here is where you will receive all the emails, all the notifications from your teachers, from your different classes. If there was a work to be done, if there was an announcement, well, you will have to go over that. But after you have logged into your email, the second app that you will, will use is your Google Classroom. You swipe up to go to the apps and you look for classrooms if you can see classroom is right there the little green icon get started after hitting get started you must again choose an account but you have already signed into your email so you simply click on your email in this case it is Ronald Salvador and there we go he has already been invited to these classes. He has counseling, one chrysolite IT, one chrysolite Bible, Spanish, English, Belizean studies, mathematics, and science. What he must do now is to join the class. If you can see, you have been invited, but he has not joined as yet. So you all must click on join. for you to be able to enter the class. Now upon hitting join, you have entered and now you can see what your teacher have posted. So the first screen that you will see is stream and stream is just the latest updates that your teacher made. For in this case, you have new assignment, importance of plants and simple leaf. So that's the latest information that um, the science teacher place. At the bottom you will see stream, you will see classwork. Classwork now is where the assignment is due. So week three, week four, week five, week six. Week six is the latest classwork and there's the assignment. Click on the assignment um, and you'll be prompted with the different um, information that is required so that's for one of the classes I remember uh, um, the student has several classes so the person will have to click on join and go to each class and see where they are um, if they have been doing package how far they are they are with the online sessions um, that's Google Classroom and that's the email address. Another very important app that we use is called Google Meet. In this case, 